All right, everyone, uh, coming to you today with some breaking news. If you haven't been on social media and see some things pop up in your feed with Mark Shabel here from Sonics, well, he's got something to tell you. Mark, go ahead and introduce yourself. And uh, if you could tell us again, the breaking news that's just happened. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Mark Shabel. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know me, I've been the uh, general manager for Sonics for several years. And uh, as of January 1st, I am the new owner of Sonics. Congratulations. Wow. That is, I, I just talked to you off cameras. It's like, that's shocking, but not surprising news being that you've been with Sonics for, for how many years now? Uh, close to um, 18. Um, I started part time in uh, 2003. And then uh, I think it was early 2004 that I started working for them full time. So you're, so you're very much have been in the family for for a while. And yeah, yeah, yeah I was the, the second non family employee. Wow. Wow. And all this, you, you purchased an aircraft company all before your tax return even showed up. I mean, that's, that's pretty uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, my yeah, accountant, uh, we won't be doing TurboTax for 2022. Let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is awesome. I'm I'm super excited. You know, I, I was just there and we did a whole walkthrough and a factory tour. And obviously, this was hush hush back then. I didn't know anything about it. But um, I'm really excited for you. I think um, anybody purchases an aircraft company, that's exciting, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I'm trying to remember if, if, the, if we had talked about it, I guess we didn't, you know, it's one of those things where, um, you know, as excited as I may have been through the whole process, yeah, you know, I've been, I've been, you know, working on it with John, as I had mentioned to you off camera for, for a couple of years, and we got serious about it about six months ago, but at the time, you know, even though things were looking like, they were going to happen, you know, it's a, you know, not counting your chicken before their chickens before they're hatched kind of thing. And uh, so, uh, you know, I, I kind of let a few people know that I was working on it. It was looking good, but of course, you know, anything can happen in a, uh, in a business deal. And, um, you know, I think we came to some very equitable um, arrangements uh, that made sense for the business first and foremost, um, so that the business can carry on, um, you know, uh, uh, trouble-free, if you will, and, uh, and uh, still uh, reward John for, um, you know, everything that he's done in creating uh, all of this that we, that we get to do here at Sonics. So on a personal note here, what, what did your family think of this idea uh, moving forward and approaching this? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, again, it's been a conversation for a few years now in my household, and um, it's, um, it's, it's, again, exciting, um, I think a little scary, um, especially for, you know, my wife, <laughs> you know, uh, oh, that's great, hon, just don't lose the house. <laughs> you know, right. <laughs> We've moved all the eggs into one basket here and don't right. drop the basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, but very excited. And, um, you know, I think for, you know, my, my family, of course, they all know it's kind of the, um, the, 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 the turning of the page, you know, the end of a, of a long chapter of um, this potential transition turning into an actual transition and then closing the sale of the business. And now we'll turn the page and, uh, and start working on the future. And uh, it's just incredibly excited. And uh, the amount of um, positive feedback that I've gotten, um, you know, on social media just in the last, uh, well, not even 24 hours yet since we made the announcement has been really humbling, um, you know, not just from family and, and, and close friends, but uh, from customers um, and colleagues elsewhere in the industry. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't, uh, you know, I expected a few messages here and there, but I didn't expect quite the outpouring that, uh, that I've been receiving, you know, my, uh, phone's just been kind of blown up and, uh, it's been, uh, really, really nice, uh, really nice to see. Well, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong, but you've been kind of the face of Sonics for several years now, correct? Yeah. You know, I think it started off, um, uh, back when we did uh, some of the more recent video versions of our DVDs, which are now, you know, now we've got everything to YouTube, but um, we needed someone to narrate uh, <laughs> the video. And uh, so, you know, I was working, you know, most of my job at the time was sales and maintaining the website and things of that nature. I think I was still doing purchasing at that time as well. And, um, uh, you know, we went and looked at, you know, well, how much would it cost to hire a narrator and is it really worth it and determined no. 
it's not worth it. So uh, I oh, yeah, so, up, so I stand credit not, not just the the uh, the face, but you've actually been the voice, right? We call voice, it Sonic. Right. Yeah, you that's how the voice. Started. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I ended up yeah narrating the first couple of uh, videos, and then the whole DVD, and uh, uh, I don't know, you know, as a as kind of handling PR, you know, I'd be the guy to get interviewed when ever there was an announcement or an adventure when they wanted to video something um uh it would usually usually be me or john and uh, especially you know in the in recent years um uh, uh, so uh yeah and, and then of course with the general manager position i've had a lot of responsibilities and um working really closely with the staff and especially heather who's now our new general manager um and um and, and John, of course. And so this change is not um, as earth shattering or drastic as as people might seem from the outside. I mean, we're, we're continuing on, you know, Heather and I especially continuing on doing the same things we've been doing all along. Um, but, you know, I guess now the buck stops here. The, the, the big <laughs> difference is who uh, writes the checks at the end of the month. These Right, these exactly. And, and so, so, what, so what will John's role be moving forward? Obviously, he's going to have his hand in this to, to some degree. Oh, yeah. Uh, what is what will be his role moving forward? Yeah, I mean, John is, um, you know, I guess in official terms, he's an uh, emeritus advisor, um, if you will, and um, and we'll be consulting. And, um, you know, certainly the two place jet, of course, is his big um, uh, pet project at the moment. And we're uh, we're at the point now where we actually have some parts for the prototype uh, going together in the shop. And I hope very soon when uh more parts get riveted together that we'll have uh, a nice web update with lots of pictures. Um, you know, as we put those things together, prepare for things like the static test of the wing and all of that. Um, so that'll be a big part of John's focus is that is the new jet. Um, and, uh, and then of course, just continuing the dialogue about um, everything that we do and, and new ideas going forward and, and everything. So he'll be involved, uh, you know, the invitation to him is that he can be involved at whatever level he really uh, cares to, uh, you know, and, and finding that balance for him, um, work life and enjoying retirement with the, with Betty Onet and uh, spending time at their condo in Florida uh, where they are right now. Uh, so, so really it's a, um, it's really kind of in a way up to him uh, in terms of how much time he wants to put in. And, and to clarify, I understand that there's a couple different companies within Sonics. You have Sonics LLC, which is the kit company, and then you've got Sonics Aerospace. Uh, are, are you now owner, owner of both or are those two separate companies and John's taking the yeah. one still? Yeah, so actually Sonics Aerospace um, is being closed. So basically I've bought the asset, I purchased the assets of Sonics Aircraft and Sonics Aerospace we're rolling it all together into Sonics LLC. Okay. So uh, like Aero Conversions used to be its own company years and years ago. Uh, we're doing the same with Sonics Aerospace where we're just folding it in and making it a product line. So Sonics Aircraft, Sonics Aerospace and Aero Conversions, those names still exist as, um, as brand names, if you will. Um, but they're all under the corporate uh, you know, umbrella of Sonics LLC. Okay. Okay. And what, um, I mean, obviously again, you've been part of the company for many, many years, so you're, you're, you're deep into it, but what are some of the, the personal aspirations or goals that you have now that this is hundred percent your baby? What, what might we see coming from Mark that maybe we wouldn't have seen from John? Um, you know, just maybe a little more universal appeal. Um, you know, we don't certainly don't want to betray the, the design ethos and and the the things that have made us unique and given us um, uh, uh, an edge and a niche, uh, we're going to stay true to to all of those philosophies. But um, at the same time, we want to uh, be able to reach out and sell to people that we haven't really sold to before, for whatever reasons. Um, whether and universal appeal that may be more towards more engine options or more towards gross weight options. Uh, both. I mean, I, I think both. Uh... Dynon Avionics at DynonAvionics.com. AirTech Coatings at AirTechCoatings.com. Airworks at AirWorksAviation.com. Avionation at AvionationUSA.com. Check the description below for links to these great companies. 
and visit our website at experimentalaircraftchannel.com for events, our video library arranged in easy to find playlists on specific topics, affiliate products, aviation merchandise, and so much more. If you like these videos that we are producing weekly, give that like button a click and engage all notifications so you don't miss a single episode. Um, you know, we're, the AeroV is still an incredibly important part of our of our portfolio, if you will. We sell a lot of engines and it's uh, very successful for us. Um, and we want to continue selling and supporting and designing airplanes that can accept it. But we also want to expand our level of support for the other engine options that people might be attracted to. Um, and, um, you know, I think we've talked about in the past, or I know I've talked with many others that, you know, Rotex engines typically haven't been our cup of tea, um, just from a engine design philosophy standpoint, but the engine is so prolific and well supported that uh, we, we are definitely going to be expanding support uh, for that installation beyond just what we do now in providing motor mounts. And probably the, the key for that is the One Week Wonder project coming this summer at AirVenture. That EAA has requested that have a, that have a 912 IS in it. And as we discussed when you're here, uh, when you were here over the summer, we'll, uh, we've got an airplane here getting that installation now, which is actually one of our employees' airplanes. And that uh, will be the, the Sonics B platform, correct? That you're doing the One Week Wonder with? Uh, one Week Wonder will be a YXB. A YX, um, okay. our, our employee's airplane, Chris's airplane, um, Chris is our production manager, um, is a Sonics B. But, you know, same, same, same airplane firewall forward, that's for sure. Um, so that's uh, where we're, uh, where we're uh, kind of finalizing all of the installation details right now. Gotcha. So if you haven't pulled a rivet before, you might have the opportunity to pull one during Oshkosh in uh, this year. Yeah, absolutely. One Week Wonder is something we're really excited about. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, a huge challenge um, for our staff and certainly will be for the volunteers as well. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, it's been done twice before, um, both times successfully. And of course, uh, you know, we're we're, um, you know, hell bent on making sure that this third event is also successful uh, using one of our airframes and uh, a lot of planning going in. In fact, we have a meeting later this week on it, even though it's only January only. <laughs> uh, time goes fast as we uh, as we get to the fly in. Yeah, I mean, it's already the fourth. It's like uh, yeah. it's it's already already starting to gain momentum. Well, yeah. awesome, Mark. I appreciate uh, you taking a few minutes. I know you've got probably several meetings today uh, mm -hmm. with staff and and uh, letting the world know what's happening here. But I, I saw that post on the feed and I was just like, what? Uh, I was just really excited for you because, uh, you know, we, we've yeah. talked in length there and uh, I know you are very passionate about aviation. This isn't just a purchase for you. Like your heart is really in this. And that's okay. what I think I'm even more excited about having somebody else continuing on to uh, further aviation. Um, yeah. Such as well, saying. that's the thing, you know, um, uh, you know, I've been an EAA member since I was 14, I think. And, um, you know, I grew up interested in airplanes before we had the internet. So, you know, I remember scrounging and saving for every magazine and book that I could get my hands on right. and, um, and, and learning about it. And, and, you know, as an EAA member at a young age, I, um, uh, you know, of course, was very interested in home-built airplanes. I mean, that's that's when I found out about home-built airplanes that they even existed. Um, that was a that that took my aviation interests and really turned it into a passion. And um, you know, a lot of time at my uh, at my dad's old drawing table that he had in the family room in the basement. Um, you know, penciling out you know airplane design ideas and. Uh, you know, some of them quite naive at the time, of course, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the passion is there and, you know, it's, it's, um, it's been, it's been an, an enormous part of my life. And, uh, and I think the important thing for all of us here is that we can continue doing what Sonics does um, in a way that's again, true to the philosophy and true to uh, the, the, the ideas that John uh, that was behind it all for John and uh, the driving um, uh, driving ethos, if you will, 
and, uh, and, and carrying it on in the future so that it can be even more successful and continue to grow and reach more people. And, uh, and of course, expand in, in other areas like uh, what we've been doing with unmanned aircraft. Um, you know, and, and when we talk about new products, you know, there's other engine installations, UL Power, for instance, that, um, you know, we want to also expand our support for beyond just providing a motor mount. Um, and looking, you know, we're always looking on the horizon for those new engines, um, especially as they are out there for a little while and start to, you know, uh, uh, get a reputation as being reliable options. And, um, and of course, the airframes will be changing, especially I think the high wing is going to be the, the first major new airframe product um in a long time of course uh for uh for the home built uh, side of our business and and that's where we start to as you said uh, look at expanding the gross weight options the utility of the airplane and um that's where a diverse uh selection of engines really becomes important in terms of um offering higher power options and uh some variety in the options to suit the tastes of the builder and what uh, what they're really interested in, and every builder is different and has different ideas of how they want to have their airplane power. Absolutely, and we very much look forward to to what will come out of uh, of your shop here in the in the near future and the years to come. Yeah, all right. All right. Well, thanks again for jumping on with us and uh, you know letting more people know what's going on over there. We'll we'll definitely have to get together again here here soon, and um, I'll absolutely see you, of course, at Oshkosh this year and. Uh, maybe if you'll let me, I'll, I might pull a rivet or two. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Yeah, I hope you'll do a little short video uh, 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 while you're there as well. Absolutely. All right, everybody, thanks for joining us today. And uh, feel free to con congratulate Mark. Send him some messages on social of uh, his new role of uh, owner.